Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. Today I want to talk about just my Xbox 360 story, or just my experience with the 360. Um, just to go into why I just don't buy them anymore, because the experience was entirely ruined. Now I am playing a game on my phone called... What the heck am I playing? Um, <laughs> Polytopia, which is a game that is very similar to Civilization. I'm just gonna do creative mode, so I can just build and just make the video with no stress. Um... But anyway, so, a long time ago I had the Xbox 360 right after um, playing on PlayStation 2 for years and years and years. Um, my family eventually got into the Xbox 360 and they bought a brand new one. And I really, lo I really loved the console because, you know, I got, um, when I got it, I really wanted to play the new, the new uh, Modern Warfare 3 that came out. Because uh, Call, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was out at that time, I saw the trailers for it, and I really wanted to experience it. So, in the living room, I would be there playing, like, demos of the game, and having just a blast. I also got into Halo, and I got into those, um, what are they called, the Move games, kind of kind of similar to the Wii. But I would be there all the time playing, like, bowling and, and stuff like that. And my family never really used the 360 too much because they were always busy. Or they just didn't have time for it. So it basically just became my Xbox 360, my my main system. After my PlayStation 2 was stolen, it basically became permanently mine for a while. I also had a Nintendo DS on top of that, but this is a story about my 360. So I really enjoyed my 360. I would be playing on that thing for hours and hours and hours. Every single day when I got home from school, I would play my Xbox 360. I would get super excited because I had the new Halo games. I had um, the new Call of Duty games. And after years and years and years of playing on my 360, um, I would eventually... Um... Oh, what was I going to say? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to focus on the game and talk. Very difficult for me to do. Um, what, what was I going to say? But after getting a whole bunch of Xbox 360 games, digitally and physical games, um, it was a good, you know, couple of years. I think my original Xbox 360 was a slim, and it lasted for about, I would say, five or six years, which is still a very good amount. But, again, I've had other game systems for longer, and the experience still sucked for me, and I will explain why. But <clears throat> I had this Xbox 360 for like five or six years. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I played Halo, Gears of War, Left 4 Dead. Oh, Left 4 Dead was awesome. And I would just spend hours playing that thing. And I would also take good care of it. Um, because I like to keep my stuff clean and nice. So I'd always like wipe it down and make sure it's like in the best possible condition. And, um, eventually, after like five or six years of having this Xbox 360, it would get the red ring of death. And I was very, very angry because I could no longer play my 360 games. I could no longer play any of the games I owned because my 360 decided to take a huge crap with the red ring of death. And it, it was always... People know how terrible that is, or how terrible of a feeling that is. When you have this Xbox 360 with all these games, and it has the Red Ring of Death, you're just like, it's like the end of the world for you, because it's like, dude, this was my Xbox 360, I had all these games, this huge collection, and the damn thing got the Red Ring of Death. The thing that nobody likes ever, and one of the dumbest things ever, no game system should ever just flat out break for no reason. My 360 was clean, it was in good condition, and after all those years of having it, it eventually just got the red ring of death. So, when it got the red ring of death, I raged, I got angry. I got very, very angry that I took my Xbox 360 out of the wall, unhooked the HDMI socket, and I threw it on the ground. And I just started bashing the damn thing. So yeah, that was permanently dead. So, <coughs> for um, a couple of years after, I wanted to get back in the 360. 
because I, I also got the fat PS3 during that time after my 3CC broke from GameStop. And my PlayStation 3 also got the yellow light of death because, yeah, that generation had a very difficult time, had a very difficult start. But, um, I bought a couple of other 360s. So, my first 360 was like an original 360 that was white and it had like the hard drive where you had to actually attach it to the side. And then that one, after a week of playing it, got the Red Ring of Death. I then picked up another 360, Red Ring of Death. And it just kept on happening over and over and over again. My Slim that I had originally got the Red Ring of Death. These other 360s had the Red Ring of Death. I just couldn't get a break. So after years and years of getting the Red Ring of Death, and not being able to experience um, Halo and all those fun games and Gears of War Left 4 Dead, I gave up entirely on the 360. And that made me have a, a very negative view on Microsoft as a company. And eventually I would pick up an Xbox One, but I was so disappointed with my experience with the 360 that for so long I stayed away from Xbox completely. So I got into the PlayStation 3 Slim and Super Slim, and then eventually I got the PlayStation 4. Years after I would get a Xbox One, after realizing it's like, well, the One isn't going to have the Red Ring of Death issue, so I can actually play these older games on it, and I got my One years after. It was a horrible experience, having all my 360s break in front of me, all, all of them just had the Red Ring of Death, and um, it was like... I just couldn't catch a break. It kept on happening constantly. I had to have been at like probably five 360s. Um, all five. I think I had five. So I got. I kept on getting them from uh, GameStop. I would send them back once I got a Red Ring of Death. Get another one. And it would just happen over and over and over. It was a constant cycle of just BS. Of um, these consoles just constantly Red Ringing. And that is why I have never bought a 360 ever again. That is why I stick to the PlayStation 3 and only the Xbox One. You know, Xbox One is probably the only Xbox I would ever buy now and ever will actually play with because it actually works, you know. The 360, it was a, a fun system when it would work. It had so many fantastic games on it. But again... The the biggest issue for me is the Red Ring of Death, and that is why I refuse to buy a 360, because that's just how bad my experience was with the console. But anyway, that is my Xbox 360 horrible, horrible experience with the console. Um, you can tell me in the comment section below if you've had these experiences with the 360 during those horrible days when you would <laughs> get a 360, and it would just Red Ring on you, you'd get another one, it would Red Ring on you. It was a horrible time. Um, it was just horrible during that time to get an Xbox because they would just constantly red ring on you. And if you had the fat PlayStation 3, it would also get the yellow light of death. So the safest consoles for my experience would be the PlayStation 3 Slim and Super Slim, as well as Nintendo Wii, which is like, built like a tank and will last way longer than the 360 and probably even longer than the PlayStation 3 because the Nintendo Wii, um, it's very well made. It's when Nintendo actually made things very well. Um, you know, nowadays you have Joy-Con drift because of lovely Nintendo and <laughs> you have Nintendo Switch, um, by, like, the fan grill that, like, melts off over time. So... Nintendo no longer really builds their stuff the way they used to, um, from my experience. But anyway, I'm in the video, but that was my Xbox 360 experience and why I... I basically have PTSD from it, basically. If I have a 360 ever again, or if I buy a brand new one, I'm gonna have constant fear of it just red ringing on me. And that is a huge issue. Like, when you buy a game system, you should expect it to work. For like years and years and years. But when I would get into the 360s, so they would constantly red ring on me. And that was like the most annoying experience. 
no, my no, most annoying experience from gaming in my entire life. But anyway, I'm in the video, so peace out. Again, tell me in the comment section below if you've had similar experiences, and peace out.